Happy holidays from all of us at the Weather Network. To help you plan your activities during the season, here are the short and long-term forecasts for your area. visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. This local forecast has been brought to you by eHarmony.ca. Start communicating for free today. Must be 18 or over. Force of Nature is brought to you by be ready next harvest season for an Axial Flow Combine from Case IH. See your Case IH dealer. The fifth named storm of the season is set to make for a windy, wet Christmas across the UK. Ava has already produced 90 km an hour gusts in Ireland. There is concern in the north of England as many areas still remain flooded from Storm Desmond earlier this month. Up to 80 millimeters of rain is possible. It looks like many parts of the Midwest will see a white Christmas after what has been a very warm December. Thursday saw 15 centimeters fall in Nebraska and Iowa. Driving was difficult as snow-covered roads were also very icy. Officials warned holiday travelers to proceed with caution. Beijing has been suffering from severe pollution this month and now more Chinese cities have followed the capital in issuing their first red alerts. Schools were closed in several cities while construction projects ground to a halt. Red is the highest of a four-level system that means hazardous air pollution for three consecutive days. Conditions weren't much better over in southern Europe. Parts of the Balkans and Italy saw intense smog on Wednesday. In Bosnia, Sarajevo decided to close schools because of the dangerous pollution levels. Flights also had to be canceled because of poor visibility. Happy holidays and thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. Here's something pretty cool that you won't see for a while. A full moon on Christmas, the first time this has happened since 1977. Let's take a look at that active weather across the country. Well, many of us are actually going to see calm conditions for Christmas Day. We still have that warming trend in the east, but cooler air makes its way to the west. If you're in Ontario, minus 4 degrees. That's the daytime high in campus casing. Still mild in southern Ontario, well above seasonal. Toronto, a high of 8 degrees. In fact, let's head there now. Here's a look at 
but where we did see that warmth on Thursday, record breaking warmth, even stepping out the door in the morning. We have also seen that warmer air push through southern Quebec and into the southern Maritimes, warming up in Newfoundland for your Christmas morning. That system tracks further east, pushes out to sea, so a clearing trend for you as well. We are looking at a mix of sun and cloud five for your high in Charlottetown. We're looking at a high of 11 degrees in Halifax for your Christmas, warming up in St. John's. Just the risk for some isolated showers into the afternoon, but clearing as we head throughout your Christmas. Where we have seen that ridge of high pressure begin to build into places in the west. A drying trend for the BC coast. High pressure remains in place across the prairies, but we're dealing with that Arctic high. So some chilly conditions across northern parts of Alberta. Some light snow in your forecast for your Friday. You can expect that as we head into your evening hours. Let's take a look at temperatures in Calgary. Minus 15, but seeing a mix of sun and cloud. So some beautiful sunny conditions, but it is going to be frigid. Feeling more like minus 20 in places like Edmonton when we factor in that wind chill for your Friday. Minus 14 for your Christmas. 8 degrees in Toronto, 6 for your daytime high in Montreal. On Tuesday, southern Ontario, southern Quebec, we're watching out for a messy mix. So this could be a nightmare out on the roads for those of you traveling. Tuesday morning is when we're expecting it. We're expecting some snow mixed with freezing rain as well. High pressure pushes further towards the east, so you'll still see some sunshine in Atlantic Canada. Stay with us. Have you ever wondered how Rudolph's nose helps guide Santa's sleigh? Chris St. Clair has that coming up. Sign into your free account on our website to save your postal code and city locations, to upload photos, to comment, and sign up for alerts. Experiencing heartburn two or more times a week means you may have frequent heartburn, and you can treat it without a prescription. Try Olex, Canada's first non-prescription treatment specifically indicated for frequent heartburn relief. Taking one Olex a day for two weeks helps stop acid production at the source. It helps slow down the acid-producing pumps in your stomach and, over time, provides long-lasting relief from your heartburn symptoms. Take control of your frequent heartburn. Ask your pharmacist for non-prescription Olex. Available at the pharmacy counter. I'm Michelle Boisvert, founder of Homeocan. At the first symptoms of the flu, pain, fever and chill, I recommend the flu buster Homeocoxinum. Ask your pharmacist for the daytime, nighttime and kids formula. What does Christmas taste like? What does celebrating smell like? Only Clubhouse has all the holiday flavors to delight your guests, even the special ones. Clubhouse, bring flavor home. Postpone a laser session with L'Oreal Revitalift Triple Power Laser. 74% of women agree it's better than any other skincare they have tried. Repair the look of wrinkles, firm skin. Skin looks smoother in just one week. Revitalift Triple Power Laser by L'Oreal Paris. Also with SPF. I was a single mom looking for a man, um, not only for myself, but for my son. When I went on eHarmony, I had to fill out a lot of questions about myself, so they really got to know who I was and what I was looking for. eHarmony, I think, is the only dating website that could bring Bring something to me, the exact kind of person I was looking for. Other sites seemed really shallow. There's no perfect match beyond Angela. She's the best person for me. Maybe it's your turn. Stop waiting. Start communicating for free today. Must be 18 or over. Stay warmer longer in Colombia. Tested tough for the Weather Network. Enough said. Weather strikes rely on the Weather Network to help you see and understand it better. With our new hyperlocal radar imaging, enhanced 3D, and hour by hour storm tracking systems, we'll deliver all the weather details you want in a more visually dynamic way.
Happy holidays from all of us at the Weather Network. To help you plan your activities during the season, here are the short and long-term forecasts for your area. visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. This local forecast has been brought to you by Homeo Coxinum, the flu buster for the whole family. Available in day and night formula. a special edition of the science behind the weather. Think about this song, Rudolph with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? But how does Rudolph guide Santa's sleigh with his red nose? Because that's what led the way. Well, think about this. Bats use sonar to detect where they're going when it's dark and cloudy at night. So perhaps some of the same theories can be applied to Rudolph's red nose at Christmas. Perhaps Rudolph's red nose is an infrared nose. And that would allow Rudolph to be able to see through the clouds and the the snow at Christmas time and successfully guide Santa's sleigh around planet Earth on Christmas Eve. It's Rudolph and his infrared nose that does it. And that's the science behind Christmas. Merry Christmas from all of us here at the Weather Network. Thanks for joining us. Some of you are dealing with a white, wintry Christmas. Winnipeg, Calgary, Regina included. Also Yellowknife, Vancouver, the slight chance as temperatures drop throughout the overnight. We could see a few flurries. Toronto, no chance. You've seen that warm up. In fact, record breaking heat on Christmas Eve. London, no chance. Thunder Bay, you're looking at that white Christmas. Also for Edmonton, parts of Vancouver Island as well. As we head towards Tuesday, we're watching out for a very messy mix. This could be a nightmare out on the roads for those of you traveling. We're expecting to see that cold northeasterly wind undercutting with the warm air. And as that interacts, we're looking at a rain snow mix, but the freezing rain, and that's going to be the main issue. So of course, we'll update you on that. Further west, high pressure remains in place. A ridge moves onshore, 
drawing trend for the south coast so you're going to see a break and some sunshine for your christmas but it is cooling off across the prairies remaining cold as we head throughout the next few days as we head towards your sunday however southern alberta you are going to see things warm up just slightly but still dealing with those wind chills let's head to calgary right now a beautiful scene here skating out on the pond if you're heading out tomorrow make sure you throw on those layers it's going to be minus 15 and that's for the daytime high feeling closer to minus 20 for many of you across alberta for your christmas day minus 19 that's your daytime high in regina again feeling cooler than that minus 14 in winnipeg but you'll notice a lot of people are going to see the sunshine in those calm conditions so we are going to see a break for the most part high pressure pushes in for toronto we will dry out seeing the risk for just some isolated showers throughout the overnight into your christmas day saturday minus one for st john's five in Halifax. We will see a high of four in Montreal. Now stay with us. Coming up, we'll have more taking a look at your long-range forecast and what we can expect as we head from Boxing Day and into next week. Visit the 14-day forecast page for your city or postal code for an in-depth look at temperatures, precipitation, and sky conditions. Most people are on autopilot, using sensitivity toothpaste that just numbs the pain. But there's an alternative to numbing. Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief. It does something different. The breakthrough amino acid formula seals the openings to expose nerves, so it helps relieve pain by repairing sensitive teeth. Welcome to a fresh new world of sensitivity relief. Stop numbing. Start repairing sensitive teeth with Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief. Colgate, number one brand used most by dental professionals. So are you away to live in America? Yes. Welcome to the United States. Top critics and audiences agree. Brooklyn is easily the year's best and most beguiling love story. Will you come for dinner and meet my family? I should say we don't like Irish people. Hey. What? That is a well-known fact. Um. <laughs> Sir Sharon shines in this big-hearted, romantic, and beautiful film. I love you. Brooklyn is a treat from beginning to end. Tell me. Brooklyn. Now playing. What if the holidays were about people again? And the four-letter word that defined the season was L-O-V-E, and not S-A-L-E. That's the world Winners, HomeSense, and Marshall stores live in where there's no need for sales because we offer amazing prices on thoughtful gifts every day. Let's put more value on what really matters. This season, bring back the holidays with Winners, HomeSense, and Marshalls. Experiencing heartburn two or more times a week means you may have frequent heartburn and you can treat it without a prescription. Try Olex, Canada's first non-prescription treatment specifically indicated for frequent heartburn relief. Taking one Olex a day for two weeks helps stop acid production at the source. It helps slow down the acid producing pumps in your stomach and over time provides long lasting relief from your heartburn symptoms. Take control of your frequent heartburn. Ask your pharmacist for non-prescription Olex. Available at the pharmacy counter. The Flu Report is brought to you by Homeococcinum, the flu buster for the whole family. Available in day and night formula.
you have snow or if you have a green Christmas. From everyone here at the Weather Network, we want to wish you and yours a happy holiday season. Happy holidays from all of us at the Weather Network. To help you plan your activities during the season, here are the short and long-term forecasts for your area. your photos and videos, visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. This local forecast has been brought to you by Homeo Coxinum, the flu buster for the whole family. Available in day and night formula. Force of Nature is brought to you by your cattle bring in the profits. Count on Case IH equipment to help you do everything else. Visit CaseIH.com slash The fifth named storm of the season is set to make for a windy, wet Christmas across the UK. Ava has already produced 90 kilometer an hour gusts in Ireland. There is concern in the north of England as many areas still remain flooded from Storm Desmond earlier this month. Up to 80 millimeters of rain is possible. It looks like many parts of the Midwest will see a white Christmas after what has been a very warm December. Thursday saw 15 centimeters fall in Nebraska and Iowa. Driving was difficult as snow-covered roads were also very icy. Officials warned holiday travelers to proceed with caution. Beijing has been suffering from severe pollution this month and now more Chinese cities have followed the capital in issuing their first red alerts. Schools were closed in several cities while construction projects ground to a halt. Red is the highest of a four-level system that means hazardous air pollution for three consecutive days. Conditions weren't much better over in southern Europe. Parts of the Balkans and Italy saw intense smog on Wednesday. In Bosnia, Sarajevo decided to close schools because of the dangerous pollution levels. Flights also had to be canceled because of poor visibility. Time now for The Long Ranger. I'm Michelle Mackey, joined by meteorologist Dr. Doug. We're going to take you to Boxing Day across the country. 
Below seasonal temperatures continue in the west and the east. It's above seasonal, just not nearly as warm as what we saw leading up to Christmas. But coast to coast, the weather is fairly quiet. Great for shopping. I know you'll love that. Oh, you know, you know me well, Doug. Yeah, easy to get where you're going, but things are going to change for Ontario as we move into Sunday. Yeah, as we go through the evening, snow spreads across northern Ontario, rain spreads across southern Ontario. Ottawa, Montreal, pretty close to the line, likely going to see some mixed precipitation. This spreads into the Maritimes on Sunday, Fredericton, Moncton near the line, Charlottetown, Sydney, mostly snow. We could see locally 10 to 20 okay. centimeters of snow with this system. Fairly significant. Okay, now we're going to take you to uh, look across the country on Monday. A little bit of a pattern change in the West. Yeah, we do see some milder temperatures in the West. Some of the coldest air of the season in the east, although certainly not <laughs> exceptional. But yeah, exactly. For this year it is. Um, a high of minus 8 in Montreal and Ottawa, and that will set the stage for a rather messy system. Mm -hmm. On Tuesday morning, snow develops across southern Ontario, quickly changing over to ice and then over to rain. Snow spreads into Ottawa and Montreal during the afternoon and evening. It looks like mostly a snow event for Ottawa and Montreal, maybe some mixing. Rain in southern Ontario, and then this tracks into the Maritimes for Tuesday night into Wednesday. And still a little bit too early to be talking about numbers, exactly. how much snow we're expecting with this, for example. But we wanted to talk about this as a teaser, and of course we are going to continue to follow yeah. this story here on the Weather Network yeah, as we move through uh, the next couple a, days. A heads up to the yeah. system. Now as we look ahead to New Year's Eve. Yes. Milder in the west than Christmas Eve and a little bit cooler in the east and this sets the stage for this pattern change as we go early into January. Winter does arrive in the east. Ugh. Check precip start stop for your city or postal code to find out when that rain or snow will start and also when it will end. Don't miss the Lotto 649 Holiday Super Draw. With five guaranteed $1 million prizes each draw, plus the jackpot. Somebody's going to win. It could be you. Only on December 23rd and 26th. Lisa! It took you so long. Duracell Quantum lasts longer in 99% of devices, so you can power imagination all day long. This holiday season, call your friends and family using 1010710 from Castel. You can save money by simply dialing 1010710 followed by 1, the area code, and the phone number. You'll be charged 99 cents per call, up to 110 minutes calling to anywhere in Canada or the United States. You can talk anytime. No contracts, no network fees, and with excellent call quality. Merry Christmas from Castel. Ho, ho, ho! on Murano with the power and control of our intuitive all-wheel drive system. Stay warmer, longer, in Colombia. Tested tough.
Share your weather with us. Send your weather photos or videos, and if I pick yours, I will give your neighborhood a personalized weather forecast. Monday to Friday, 13 past the hour, starting at 6.13 a.m. Eastern Time. Happy holidays from all of us at the Weather Network. To help you plan your activities during the season, here are the short and long-term forecasts for your area. visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. This local forecast has been brought to you by Hakeem Optical. Hakeem Optical presents their fresh look spring sale. Hakeem Optical, always saving you money on fashionable eyewear. Eastern Canada faced a monster ice storm in 2013. Here are the top five facts. Number five. On December 22nd, this icy system packed quite a punch in southern Ontario. The weight of the ice brought down power lines all across the region, and on Christmas Eve 2013, 69,800 people in the Greater Toronto Area were in the dark. Number four. A Via Rail train from Sarnia to Toronto became stuck in Acton with 400 people on board. Streetcars in Toronto also halted travel as ice on the power lines became too much to operate. Number three. While people from Ontario to the Maritimes experienced this storm, it seemed like Trenton, Ontario was hit the worst. Three centimeters of ice piled onto roads, sidewalks, and homes. Number two. This ice storm was crippling for the tree canopy in the greater Toronto area. Toronto estimated that 10.2 million trees were damaged, 40% of which were on public property. And number one, the cost of this ice storm totals in at $200 million. Eastern portions of Canada will remember this ferocious system that did a lot more than just put a chill in the holidays. Taking a look right now at uh, systems, we have clear skies, but cold temperatures still mid, uh, mid uh, minus to high minus teens. Chance of mixing tomorrow in Vancouver, and we have warm temperatures for all of eastern Canada. We're going to be still 11 degrees in Halifax tonight. Toronto down to 5. Still cool tonight into tomorrow throughout the west. Still continues above seasonal in the east, and now it's time for the Long Ranger. 
Hi, you're watching the Weather Network. I'm Michelle Mackey, joined by Dr. Doug. I want to call this segment the heads up yes. because we have the potential for a messy system for the eastern half of our country as we move into early next week. Yeah, it's too early to be talking about how much snow or ice will fall in your backyard mm -hmm. or where that transition will be between snow and ice and ice versus rain. But we do know that we have a sort of a classic setup for some messy weather as Arctic air comes in from the north. Meanwhile, very warm, moist air spreads in over top of that. And so we're going to see an area of, of ice pellets and freezing rain. Note the temperature contrast across southern Ontario. Minus mm -hmm. 8 for a high in Ottawa, plus 9 in Windsor. Quite a contrast. Now, through the morning, Toronto is going to be right. cool. So that sets us up for this. Walk us through it. Uh, yeah, Toronto will be, a lot of southern Ontario, below freezing to start the day. So we will see some snow develop. Mm -hmm. That will quickly change over to ice pellets, a period of freezing rain. This spreads into Ottawa and Montreal during the afternoon and evening. Meanwhile, across most of southern Ontario, the mess changes over to rain, and then the snow spreads into the Maritimes as we go into Tuesday night and Wednesday. Now, snowfall amounts, can you give us a ballpark? Uh, the heaviest snow will likely be 15 to 25 centimeters, but it's too early to pinpoint exactly who will see those heaviest accumulations, so certainly stay tuned. Yes, yeah, stay tuned to the Weather Network. We'll continue to follow this story, and our teams will be mobilized yeah. in the field. Click on the monthly calendar for 14-day forecasts, actual conditions over the past year, plus each day's historical averages for the coming year. Do you have a cough? <coughs> if you take prescription medication, finding cough medicine could be tricky. Ask your pharmacist about Helixia Cough Prospan. It's made with ivy leaf extract, a naturally sourced active ingredient that is clinically proven to loosen mucus and phlegm. <sighs> Helixia Cough Pro Span's clinically proven, effective, non-drowsy formula might be suitable for you. Helixia Cough Pro Span, tough on coughs. Also available for children. <coughs> <coughs> Herbion Herbion helps erase your annoying cough. For effective relief, trust Herbion Herbal Remedy Cough and Flu Granules. Herbion helps erase your annoying cough. For effective relief, trust Herbion Herbal Cough Syrup. Available at pharmacies and health food stores. To many, this dot is just the end of a sentence. Over, done, finito. But at GoDaddy, this dot, your domain name, is the beginning of something awesome. Use it to create a website, open an online store, build your brand. You can even connect a domain name to your LinkedIn or Facebook page. And GoDaddy customer support is always ready to help. What will you do with your domain name? Get a .com domain for $11.99 per year, right now at GoDaddy.ca. Sometimes plugging in isn't as easy as it should be. Unless you use the reactor pivoting wall tap, only at home hardware and building center locations. The wall tap has six outlets that pivot 90 degrees, so plugging in is always easy, even in the tightest places. No need to move furniture and no dangerous bent prongs. With LED indicators, surge protection, and two USB ports, the reactor pivoting wall tap gives power a new twist. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. The Flu Report is brought to you by Homeo Coxinum, the flu buster for the whole family. Available in day and night formula.
The Weather Network's team of meteorologists and weather presenters use raw observational data from Environment Canada to create forecasts and give you the complete picture. Happy holidays from all of us at the Weather Network. To help you plan your activities during the season, here are the short and long-term forecasts for your area. visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. This local forecast has been brought to you by Homeococcinum, the flu buster for the whole family. Available in day and night formula. talking about Santa, Star Wars, and snow, so we will too. Let's start with Santa. I run the North Pole Fire Department, and uh, you know, I'm the chief up there, so I have a little bit of fire background in me. And there wasn't just Fire Chief Santa, we saw Sons of Anarchy Santa, Don't Tip the Boat Santa, and more Santa than I ever wanted to see. Star Wars was a big topic this week, while R2-D2 and C-3PO were lapping up the attention on the red carpet, the rest of us were battling it out for movie tickets. Let's talk snow. California had some, but they aren't as sled savvy as Canadians and should be warned to stay away from parking lots. But this little guy didn't need instructions to have fun in the snow. Of course, snow is not always a good time. We interrupt this segment for a snack break. The food of choice is a carrot, apparently, popular with both beavers and hamsters. And now a nap is in order, baby polar bear style. Before we go, I just wanted to point out that some people are perfectly okay being on their own this time of year, while others aren't. I love running in the rain, and, um, and I'm also single. I think that wraps things up. Let's get out of here.
those videos that you just saw were from different places all across eastern Canada where we were dealing with the warm-up, but I'm guessing that water was pretty chilly. Merry Christmas from all of us here at the Weather Network. Taking a look at where we are seeing that white Christmas, Calgary, Regina, Winnipeg, Yellowknife, into St. John's, a probable chance, but temperatures warming for you tomorrow, and we are seeing that rain throughout the overnight. Charlottetown, no chance. Fredericton, London, southern Ontario, you saw that record-breaking heat, but further west, Edmonton, a guaranteed chance for you. If you're in southern Ontario, watch out for a messy mix of weather out on the roads as we head towards two. Tuesday for your Christmas Day, dry conditions. But towards Tuesday, we're expecting to see some freezing rain and snow. So, of course, we'll continue to update you on that. Further west, it's the cold air that's pushed in. That Arctic air dives towards the southeast. A ridge moves on shore for the BC coast. So, drying out, we have seen some light snow throughout the overnight. Let's head to Campbell River. Speaking of snow, a white Christmas for you. A beautiful scene. We've seen those snow levels really drop over the last few days. And, Tammy, thank you so much for capturing that on camera. Taking a look at where that cold air is expected to be throughout your weekend. Come Saturday, it pushes slightly towards the east. If you're in Alberta, we'll start to see things warm up a bit, but still cold, however, as we head towards your Sunday. Stay with us. We'll have more on your forecast coming up, but also force of nature extended. Right now, your locals. Check the hourly forecast for your area and find out how sky conditions, temperatures, wind and precipitation will change each hour.